Okay, today we're gonna start framing up for finishing off the upstairs of this Amish shed. It's a uh, 24 by 24. They come in two pieces, right? But it almost looks like it's built right on site, doesn't it? Kind of like they put these walls up. Uh, they might have to do some on-site construction, but mostly it comes down the road in two pieces. Yeah. A lot of people like these, you know? There's no real foundation, so permitting might be easier. I don't know if it is or not, to be honest. Well, depending on where you're at, it is. Outdoor storage shed. Yeah. And we're going to finish it off so that it's pretty much a, a livable space. Uh, the owner is going to insulate and wire it. We're just going to do the framing and then we're going to come back and do some pine finish work. Yep. Trim, trim everything out. But for today, we're going to have to stiffen the thing up a little bit. So we're going to put collar ties in, which will also serve as our roof, our ceiling joists. Yep. It's collar ties for ceiling joists. Then we're going to wind up, we're going to have to cut these gussets out a little bit. But yeah. by the time we have the collar ties in, and then we're going to reinforce with knee walls. And then knee walls. So because it's, gonna, it's still going to work out. There's no point in having all that. There's going to be dead space back there, but it's really dead anyway. You can't use it. So they'll be able to insulate a little bit better. So we're going to have like four foot knee walls on each side of this. It's a gambrel ceiling. Um, so yeah, we're going to knee wall it out. It looked like a major barn. Yeah. You know, the Amish or... The Amish make them, they're cheap, relatively. Relatively. You know, I mean, they, they manufacture them, so they're kind of made in a factory setting, so you're saving there. But, I mean, honestly, you could finish one of these off and live in it, or at least have a nice cabin. You could, and that seems to be, well, you see, you see YouTube videos on doing that. Yeah, I think people are doing it. Yeah. First step, I think, is we don't know if this building's really sitting here since it's really not on a real foundation. It no, could be a not, little... It's on a camp gravel pad, I think, about. Yeah. It probably moves a little bit. I imagine it moves around. So we have to see if the floor is level, if that's what we're going to build from, as a reference. Because we don't want to start putting level collar ties in an unlevel building. Yeah. Or maybe we'll just do the whole thing by number, and any rack the building has, it's going to... It's not much. I mean, we'll check it out by later. No, it looks really good. I, I can't detect that there's a slope in the floor. I can do that right now. So Connor's got his Dewalt laser. What was what's that model number on that, Connor? Oh boy, I don't know, but it's a nice unit. It was like 110 dollars. 110 bucks for this thing, and yeah. it's awesome. It is. You can lock it, or you can have it unlocked, and it has a pendulum, so it gives you a level line. Yes. And you can see it. I don't know if you can see it on a tape measure. So a line there. First reference That's is, right at three feet. Yeah, about. So it's just going to walk around with that tape measure. He's going to be able to tell if there's a low spot anywhere. Three and an eighth That's, there. that's right there on three feet. Three and an eighth. It's wiggling. To, oh, three and an eighth? Okay. Yeah, so we're an eighth low. Not even, really. This is the spot I thought was low, and it is. Oh, it is. That, that's 37. That's about an inch. So we're an inch low in this corner. Hmm. Okay, so... These what about that other things, corner? It might go right back to normal in the spring. That's okay, right. Right there is thirty-five and three-quarter, so it's a little higher okay. by the stairs. Yeah. And I, I, I was feeling that this was the high corner. And it is. 35 That's thirty-five and a half. And a half. So we've got basically an inch and a half of slope. From high to low. From high to low. That I could, I couldn't tell, but you, you saw it over there. You could tell. Yeah, yeah that was. All right. I guess that means that we're not doing anything by level. We're gonna to have to do it by number. We're gonna do the whole thing by number and we're just gonna build it in by number so that if it does move again, it all moves the same. Yeah, it all moves the same yeah. and all the numbers are right. Otherwise, we're putting in larger material and it moves back to what it should have been. Then it's gonna be crooked again. Yeah. You'll, you'll never, it'll never be right. you actually be racking the building. Connor's just checking the pitch. He's seen that it's 412. So that gives us our angle for the uh, well, collar ties. Is it off? Are you? <laughs> uh, I'm second guessing myself. You're kind of you're winging it because you're just eyeballing it. But well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a 412, and then my cutoff is going to be a nice gauge too. That looks pretty good. I think that's it's a 412 pitch, not a 512 pitch. 412? That's what I'm seeing. Okay. I'll get the generator fired up. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna make all the collar ties. We're gonna set it up, make it like, a, turn it into a little factory process. Yeah. Okay, we stuck every other one up, right? We did. We know that these two end ones are the our original numbers. Uh huh. So we'll use the string to see how they carry through. Okay. String. Just get it hooked right on the collar tie. Down just there. Oh, down just there. Yep. Back up. Yep. God, that's that's within. Sixteenth of an inch. Yep. Oh, here's another crazy thing you can do is eyeball it. They're perfect. It's going to be an issue still. Inch too short. My whole life. Good for you to stretch. <coughs> oh, is that why I'm so healthy? Is that why I'm the picture of health? Yes. <laughs> and uh, men's fitness. I should be. <laughs> Don't do this to your body. I don't. Is there a smart man on a chalk line? Yeah. Yeah, that was a better idea. Crank it. Here, pull some string. Okay. Uh, you got it. Oh yeah? Is it marked? Well, it must be for that other cut. I don't know. That's what we're going to. Okay. We'll erase that Same mark. Good. Good? You want to go your way right here? Boy, it's different. Here? You know? Well, we can eyeball it. Yeah, it's different. I can see as I, as I look across, as I'm looking across the way some of these are going, uh, some of these are going across. I can see where it's tapering off because we had that low spot in the corner. Yeah. So it, it's tapering off the same way it ought to be tapering off. It's just what we got. Mm -hmm. just go ahead and get on the ladder and take a look down it. You'll, you'll see it's, it looks good. Yeah. Okay, I got a knee wall started. How are we going to do that? Well, a little creative, you know, because you didn't want to do a top plate. I don't see the need for a top plate. I like, I kind of like this idea. Essentially, we're turning this, this gamble roof into a storage truss. Yeah. Like what you'd buy. So, we're going to actually, we're going to get the angle. We're going to line our studs right up with the rafter. Yep. And then we're going to use a six inch uh, TimberTech style screw 
to go right up through and attach it right in. Yeah. You know? The other alternative would be uh, truss plates like like those yeah, to make a real truss out of, some of it. Kind. These are <coughs> these are good. They're like a hurricane screw. They they replace the uh, hurricane straps and all the curves. These guys right here. Yeah. Those are fast and master brand. Fast and master lock line. Meat code lower cost. Yeah. So what that's going to give us is we're going to have uh, a bay, a two foot bay, where our customer can when they do the installation. Can run right up through. Yeah, they could just get craft. They get craft and they can run it right up through. It's 24 inch insulation. Wire chases. So we're okay. going to do a bottom plate though. <coughs> yeah, we're doing a bottom plate. Well, we don't have to. We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so what are we doing first? Uh, I think I have a bottom plate, really. And so we got to kind of measure down where we want our four foot. Now, are we going to we have to put an angle cut on each one of these? I don't know why they don't put a level on the Swanson Square itself. Yeah. Shh. Just invented something. Hey, come on. You just invented something. It's 50 degrees. Bad yeah, boys in half. Just put it up here and scribe it. But you're going to do it the real way. Looks like we're doing okay, right Connor? Yeah, oh yeah. So we got that whole wall. We got all those studs stuck there. Uh, we're gonna run those lag screws into those. But what are we gonna do over here? I haven't thought about this. We just gotta blank the wall there, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. So now we're gonna start working on this side of the whole deal. The other side of the room. Oh, I'll cut a couple more of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and start installing these lags. Best to use an impact driver on these because uh, it takes a lot to run them in. An impact driver has that impact and doesn't try to tear your arm off. Yeah, they're a pretty manly screw. Six inch, a little thin, you don't have to pre-drill. Getting it figured out, Con? You love those angles, don't you? 
Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs>
Tongue and groove pine. Tongue and groove pine. Got a thing. board on one side and flat on the other. It'll look good. Yeah, like five, five and a half inch coverage. And, yeah. I wonder what those are now that COVID hit. Oh, hey, it's just money. <laughs> I know. Just money. Nothing's cheap, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, I'll take a shot of the outside of the door and just so, you, can you know, we can see what it looks like, what it is, and then uh, that was our project for today. I think we did okay. All right, if this kind of thing interests you, like and subscribe. Amish garage. A little upstairs to it. It's really nice, two car. Yeah. 24 square, I think. Nice. Thanks a lot, guys.